Hey guys, okay, so today's video is going to be my foundation routine. That's why I'm not wearing makeup. So, um, I have all my products out. I filmed this in the morning, but the lighting, I know I say it every time, but the lighting outside, it's like the clouds are going in and out and the sun is peeking behind them. So if I'm like turning orange and then getting dark at times, that's why. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, so the first step in my makeup, um, my face makeup every day is I apply a moisturizer and this is the Clean and Clear Morning Glow Moisturizer Oil Free and it has SPF 15 in it. So um, I apply two pumps of that and I put it on both my hands and I just generously put this on my skin. Um, this also is good because since it has SPF in it you won't need to apply another sunscreen to your face during the day. Um, since you have it built into your moisturizer, which is um, what I highly recommend to people because I hate putting regular sunscreen on my face. I hate because it feels sticky and I can feel it throughout the day. I'm just going to put that all over my skin. So the next step is foundation. So for me, I have been using Clinique Stay True Makeup Oil Free Formula since my March favorites. I know I put that in my March favorites. This has been my favorite foundation and this is the number 21 Stay Light. Looks like this. I'm almost out of this one. I got a new one. So I apply this with my fingers. So I'm basically just going to shake this onto my fingers and apply this all over my skin. Okay. So I make sure to apply this up to my um, eyes so that you know, my skin doesn't look different colors. Mm -hmm. And apply this all over and under so it gets on my neck. Because you don't want your neck to be a different color than your face because that just looks funny. Do the same thing on the other cheek. Blend it up to my eyes and around my nose area because my nose gets really red. And I always blend it into my ears, again, so I don't have two different colored, you know, skin tones. <laughs> okay, and then my forehead, and I'm going to blend this into my hairline. A little bit on my eyelids. Okay, so after I put on the actual foundation itself, um, I apply a concealer. So the concealer I use is the CoverStick um, Corrector from NYC. I know it's a cheapo brand, but I go through um, concealer like there's no tomorrow. So I do buy the cheaper brand. What I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to put this under my eyes. And then around my nose, because my nose is my problem area where I get really red. And on top of my nose, so I'm a little kind of funny right now. And then under my mouth, we got my chin area, and then a little on my forehead. So now that they look ridiculous, I'm just going to blend these in. But basically what I'm going to do is pat them and kind of rub as I pat. Because if you're just rubbing it in, then it's not going to do anything. It's just going to take the um, concealer off. So gently rub it away and blend it into your foundation. And then under your eyes, you're going to want to use your, um, your um, ring finger because it has the softest touch because your skin is really delicate under your eyes. So blend really gently. Also, it's really your preference whether you want to put conceal on before you do your foundation or if you want to use it afterwards. I prefer using it afterwards because I feel like when I use concealer first and then do foundation, it rubs off and then I have blemishes anyways that are visible. So I like to use the concealer afterwards. 
I'm going to use a powder to set my makeup. So the powder that I use is um, Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, and this is in Sandstorm, and this is for shine control. So in the summer, if you get really like sweaty, if you go to the beach and you have your makeup on, um, and you get really sweaty, then it it kind of helps with the shine. I know you guys can probably tell that I'm like shiny right now. Um, so I really like this. I'm gonna use this with my Elf's powder uh, brush. Looks like this. It's a flat top brush, and this is what the powder looks like. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face. I also recommend when you buy a powder to go a tiny bit darker than your skin tone because a lot of people buy it super light, making them look ghostly, and then a lot of people buy it way too dark, making them look really tan. So in the summer, I suggest you go a little bit darker because um, if you use a bronzer, you don't want the bronzer to look completely different than your foundation. So blend this down your neck, just like you do with the foundation. And then into your hairline and into your ears. Okay, so the next step after you apply the powder is to apply a bronzer. This is optional. If you're not a bronzer person, then that's fine. But I do like bronzer for the summer, so... The bronzer I am using is the e.l.f. Warm Bronzer. It looks like this, and it basically looks like this on the inside. It's really dirty right now. But what I do is I just use an angled brush, and I blend all the colors together, pucker up like a fish, and apply it right um, on the hollow of my cheeks. And I apply it into my um, temples create like a warm contoured look and I apply between my eyebrows and to my temples not too much just a little bit and on my nose Okay, so after bronzer, again, blush is optional, but I do like blush, so I'm going to use a cream blush. This one was in my June favorites that was posted yesterday. Um, this is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush Number no. 10 Pink Frosting, and this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my middle finger, and it looks like that, and I'm going to smile and apply it to my cheekbones. And the apples of my cheeks. I'm kind of rub it in a little bit. Do the same thing on the other side. And it's kind of a gradual thing, so if you want to add more, it's fine. If you want to add less, then you can put a little powder over it, which will um, cover some of the color. So that is the cream blush. I like to set my cream blush with a powder blush afterwards, so I'm going to use another one that was in my favorites, and that was the e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion, that really bright pink. And I'm just going to use a tad bit of this. Um, Use a blush brush, tap it in, not even touching, I'm just going to like tap it and blow away the excess and just apply it over that. I don't want to add too much at all because this blush is super bright. And because it's so bright, I'm going to take the same brush that I was using um, for my powder and I'm just going to quickly sweep it over that. And I'm also going to use a kabuki brush to blend my makeup in just a little bit. So I'm going to use a kabuki and blend my makeup together. This is my whole makeup routine. So basically after that I would go in and do my eyes. And yeah, so I'm going to post a video of my everyday eye look. Probably either today or tomorrow or one of these days. It's just going to be a tutorial on how to do my everyday eyes that I wear. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!